started playing power soccer. Um, I think I've kind of been involved in sports all my life. I decided to play power soccer because I was looking for a more competitive sport to play. I always kind of liked the idea of playing a more of a team sport though and something, um, I don't know, uh, with a little bit more strategy. I teacher that told me about this sport and I should check it out. It's better than being at home being bored playing video games. Power soccer is played with four players on the team, usually three forward and one goalie. Most teams play with a center as well as right and left wings. Some other interesting aspects of power soccer are the adaptions players have made to use the power chairs to their advantage. The most defining is the spin kick. Usually for side kick-ins and penalty kicks, the spin kick uses the chair's physics to slam the ball in a specific direction. By spinning the chair to its maximum speed, a player can get great force out of kicking the ball. An average day of practice starts with warm-ups. We'll do a bunch of drills, practice some plays, and then usually at the end of every practice, we have a small scrimmage. Tournaments are generally a longer day. Uh, they take anywhere from four to six hours. Sometimes it's generally like an all-day thing. Uh, we play anywhere from like two to three games against local teams here in Northern California. Uh, so there's teams from San, uh, San Jose, uh, Berkeley, Sacramento. Uh, teams even come up from Southern California to play tournaments sometimes. Uh, and we play uh, games in two 20-minute halves uh, and generally fill up almost the entire day between that and kind of watching the other teams play. Depending on the opponent, um, we'll practice, uh, we'll, we'll have kind of a plan in place. So if we're gonna do more, focusing more on plays or focusing more on just stopping their plays. So control, right, this guy's bridging in, this guy's circling back up. Getting exercise where, for people with disabilities can be a little challenging, so power soccer is a nice way to come together and make new friends and get in some exercise doing something you love. I can't just go to a regular gym and use our equipment and whatnot because I would either need assistance um, getting using the equipment, which isn't always available, or the equipment is either too big or too heavy for me to use. Earlier on in your life, um, middle school, high school, elementary school, um, there's sports teams that are available to uh, kids at school. That's not really, I guess, as easily accessible uh, to kids with disabilities. Like, I was on a track team, but I had to drive like an hour to get there, and like practice was once a week on Thursdays. Power soccer is uh, really cool from the standpoint that um, it really provides a unique opportunity and kind of uh, uh, lets you really play a contact like team sport that's like really competitive. We really liked it because um, you didn't have to be like super strong to do it. Um, so we liked the ability that we were on the same playing field as everyone else. Pretty much anyone can play any type of disability. You don't have to be in a power chair every day. We've seen everything from people that have um, no arms and legs. They drive their chair with their chin. Um, there's people like Bart and I who are just have weakened muscles. Um, there are people who have, who can't, um, communicate, can't talk, they can play. I'm not uh, able to transfer out of my chair by myself. Generally the coach kind of just picks me up out of the chair and throws me into the soccer chair. The use of putting a sling, and then you use a horror lift to transfer. You get to see kids with different like ability levels and uh, kind of different disabilities, yeah, be able to all kind of come together and play the same sport uh, in whatever way I guess like they're able to, right? Um, and you get to, I don't know, I guess appreciate all the different um, differences. And it adds diversity to the game. There's like a like team building kind of aspect in power soccer that you don't get in a lot of other uh, I think wheelchair sports. It's really fun just kind of being with the team and having kind of a team goal and a team um, initiative just to have fun and uh, be together. It's special from other communities because there's people with different disabilities getting to know each other and teamwork together. I have a friend on the team, uh, for example, who I've played, uh, like I said, track and field and swimming like that and things like that uh, with since I was about five years old. 
Um, we have the same disability. We've been like really close friends like our entire lives. And um, I wouldn't have met him if like not for a track initially. And then now power soccer, we wouldn't probably have stayed in as close of touch. Power soccer is a very good place to make new friends because you get people come. You get a um, during tournaments, people come from all over, so you get to meet a lot of new people. The connection with your teammates. You make a bond with them, like a friendship that lasts a while. Imagine. We all know each other. So, if I make the noise, they kind of know. My team's pretty much my second family. Kids with disabilities don't necessarily have a clear path to follow or a clear like role model that they could look up to and say like that's who I want to be right and like that's what I want to do so I think just having kind of um, those older like mentoring generations in like the sport uh, I think is a, is a huge kind of help. Power soccer teaches I guess uh, dedication to um, like your craft in, in a way where um, you start off and there's not really any shortcuts you could take to getting better. It's Whatever you do, you have to do it the best way to do it. Changed my perspective about being more outgoing and talking to people about life. Before power I didn't want to be associated with anyone with disabilities. And power to open up. Power soccer has helped me become a better communicator. It, um, it actually inspired me to become a communications major. I think it's taught me a little bit about what it means to communicate with people of different uh, ability levels from you. People learning how to have fun with their disability instead of being all negative about the disability. I think just uh, being able to participate in something and like really get good at something, I, I think it's a great confidence builder, especially when you're younger as well. Um, you're not going to go out and necessarily like play baseball with your friends and be like awesome with, at that, right? So it, it's good to kind of be able to like build your confidence up and like uh, develop in like different kind of like competitive avenues. It means everything can. I found something. Yeah, I could do myself and I never had that without a doubt. Be hope.